everybody and welcome to another video by thepilotreport.com. I'm your host Len Costa. Today's video is another installment in our interview series called Notice to Airmen where I sit down with various aviation business owners and professionals and ask them to share some information about their products and services. And on the call with me today is Dan Pimentel of AirplaneEaster.com. Glad to have you on today, Dan. Lynn, thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about what is, what is Airplanista? Let me go to the very beginning. I've been a journalist slash writer slash photographer since uh, about 1974. Okay. And the past six years, I was a blogger, uh, blogging at AviatorDan.com. But I was looking at my seventh year as a blogger and started wondering if some of uh, if that platform maybe had plateaued. A year prior to that, so maybe in 2009, I was doing a, a blog post. And the word airplanista, as in fashionista, barista, came right. in and popped into my head. And I thought, wow, that's an interesting word. I immediately like, jumped right over and registered <laughs> the domain name. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to do something with that someday. I don't know what. At that point, I had 900 pro posts mm -hmm. that I'd written on my blog over the years, plus lots of feature articles, magazine articles, random, whatever. I thought, wow, that would make maybe I could just put that all into a magazine form. I've been I've worked for a couple of magazine designing places and been a graphic designer forever. And I said, well, okay, I'll just throw together a first issue and see what happens. And I was hoping to get uh, a thousand readers, which is about what I was getting on the blog per month. Well, I ended up getting eleven thousand the first month, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I thought, wow, this this is pretty cool. Maybe there's something to this. And so I went ahead and I experimented with changing my name on Twitter, mm -hmm. which they luckily they make it easy to do, from Aviator Dan to Airplanista, and it just took off. Uh, people mm -hmm. were just submitting material to me, complimenting it. They think, oh, it's so great because I have a lot of focus on uh, people that are not getting in the other magazines. Uh, but I was kind of uh, presenting people that were uh, good writers, good photographers, but they weren't getting the the coverage in the other magazines and mm -hmm. it's, it's been, become a really popular pro project off the call i was asking you a little bit about your background uh you are you do fly you're a pilot what um you know what got you into aviation in the first place i have the standard story i used to ride my stingray bike over to the <laughs> fresno airport i mean with the big handlebars and the whole bit uh and hang on the fence literally mm -hmm. and watch at the end of two nine right and Watch the uh, 707s and the, uh, I think there were Delta darts from the uh, Fresno National Guard okay. take off. Loved it. And just from about 10 years old, just loved every minute of it, uh, everything about aviation. Now, how have you found uh, the internet has helped a, you know, your publication is online. How have you felt that the internet has helped you produce that and uh, just, you know, distribute it to the masses? The internet has allowed me to just grow this in ways that you couldn't do 15 years ago. Right. The I, I'm a big fan of Twitter because of the immediacy of it. If I was working in the 1980s producing this magazine, I would hit the streets and burn shoe leather to try to mm -hmm. find a story. Now I just go on there and I say, uh, I'm looking for somebody who flies, uh, I don't know, an ERJ uh, you know, e 145. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody know anybody that flies one of those? Mm -hmm. And I can, I can get four people come back in a half hour Right. Hey, great! I know somebody. I'd like to interview you. You know, you know, I have pictures. Blah blah blah. So it's from that regard, it's been fantastic to be able to use the internet. One of the other mm -hmm. questions I was curious about is, with a digital publication, what sort of what sort of challenges do you face uh, putting it together? I mean, is this something that's all time consuming? It takes you. I mean, as far as it, it's quite in depth. The stories, the photos. Um, you know, what kind of challenges do you have on a month to month basis? I've I've been a graphic designer now since 74 in various ways. I guess back in those days, we weren't called graphic designers because there was really no computers. Right. I've, But as a reporter, I've developed a writing style where I can almost sit down to write a story and think about it as I'm writing it. And I, in other words, my brain stays a couple of steps ahead of my fingers. So the story just comes out, and mm -hmm. with a little bit of editing and tweaking, it seems to be right. I almost always have it open as I'm mm -hmm. working at my ad agency, and somebody will e email me their con the content that they promised. I'll open it up, look at it, and what I'll do is I'll just immediately copy and paste it and throw it over in the magazine. Mm -hmm. And then maybe in the evening when I have the time to work on the magazine, I'll go flow it in and make it perfect and, and set it up. So it's kind of an ongoing thing all month. What do you have uh, – what are your future plans and hopes for the publication? This is an interesting time for Airplanista magazine because we are 
as we speak, in the process of developing a paid subscription system. Okay. The big, big difference is that we're developing what's called a special deals and premium content section mm-hmm. for the paid advertisers. I'm, I mean, for the paid subscribers, excuse me. So my advertisers are coming up with deals, coupons, uh, dollars off, mm-hmm. things like that. So when people will go to to buy a paid subscription to the magazine, they'll be able to get in here, and for a whole year, they'll have access to a number of uh, some pretty sub- substantial deals, and mm-hmm. any one of those, will, will they'll get their money back five times over okay. uh, on the money they pay for the subscription. So- this has been Dan Pimentel of Airplanista.com on our Notice to Airmen interview series. It's been a real pleasure making this video for you today. Once again, I'm Len Costa with ThePilotReport.com, wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody. <laughs>